Demonstrate how to make the adjustments for more sash and doors, different wedges. Uh, we're doing two different wedges. One wedge is the 10 inch, which we're going to do first, which is this board. And then the second wedge is going to be the um, 6 inch, which is going to be this board right here. So again, we're going to start with the 10 inch. The 10 inch, we're going to have all of these wedges are going to be in, these shims, all these shims are going to be in right here. And on the other side, we're going to have all but one in, so one is going to be out, the others are going to be in. And then if you look closely on the side of this stop, there's a little dot there. Uh, that's where this is going to be set to on the 10 inch. And then when we do the 6 inch, it's going to be to this dot here. Now, there is going to be a cover on it. I have it off right now so you can see this better. But the cover will have, it will be clearly labeled on the cover. So, in the back here, um, this is how you adjust the width. Um, when we do the 10 inch, it's basically all the way back. The product sets in. Um, 10 inch is the absolute max on this machine, so if you cut the material even a 30 second over 10 inch, it will get stuck. So make sure when you cut it, you cut it to 10 inch or under. Over here is where we turn the air on. This is the power. Then we're going to key it on right here. And don't worry, there's another video that shows how to actually operate the machine. This is just to show the particular setup for the Morse sash. So I'm going to press the start button, push the product in. That's the first way. Second way, then I'm going to shut it off. Okay, so here is here's the sample piece. As you can see, it's the same width. both pieces. Now this is the first cut so it has a little bit of a bevel to it when it came off the saw. But the two pieces are the same. And the two pieces are the same as the, oop, as the sample. Okay, so now we're going to go to the 6 inch. So I'm going to turn the air off. And I'm going to take all of these out and then on this side over here I'm going to put this one actually in and there will be a wing nut there this is just for the video make it go a little quicker and then I'm going to while the air is off I can take this board out Put in our six inch board. Just simply push this up against the six inch board. You don't want it to be too tight because you want it to gravity fall down once they're stacked in here, 20, 30 pieces high. And then up front here, I'm going to loosen this up and move this to the other setting. And I'm going by the little pin punch there. But again, remember it's going to be marked on the guard because it may have to be fine-tuned if you change the blade. And then I'm going to turn the air on, key it on, and then we'll run it. Board slightly cupped. The board's cupped, so I'm going to put the cup side down.
here's the sample. There you go. There's the other cut. Okay.